I'm Gina from Harmony Schools. My demonstration is about the gravity tube. That creates different sound. Gravity tube has two sides. One side has an open end and the other side has a closed end. There is an equation for my demonstration and it is speed equals frequency times the speed of sound in air is constant, so if the wavelength increases, the frequency decreases. The speed of sound depends on the medium, and medium is basically what waves travel through. Medium can be anything. It can be air, wood, metal, and etc. Open end. Closed end. The open end of the gravity tube's wavelength decreases, so it has a higher frequency and a higher pitch. Pitch is basically what our ear perceives, it is not a measurement. The closed end of the gravity tube's wavelength increases, so it has a lower pitch and a lower frequency. Now if I shake the gravity tube, the open end of the gravity tube creates more of a shrill sound because it has a higher frequency, like that. The closed end of the gravity tube creates more of a gray sound because it has a lower frequency. When you have more than one gravity tube, it increases the intensity of the sound which is called amplitude. Even though you hear it louder, the wavelength and the frequency doesn't change. Did you know that the gravity tube relates to history? Wind instruments such as flute and saxophone relate to my demonstration. For example, if I cover the lower end of the flute with my fingers, it will have a lower pitch, and that is because the weight. I chose my demonstration because it sounds really cool. At first, I didn't know anything about the gravity tube, like I didn't even know there was an equation for this, but now I learned a lot about the gravity tube, like how it works and how it relates to history. I also found a funny video, which was... I was in the store the other day, and uh, me and my brothers was playing around with toys, and I found the greatest thing ever made, yeah, it's that gravity. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thank you, Harmony.